Welcome back. In this video, I will introduce you to the paper that builds the foundation of this tutorial. So the theoretical foundation comes from a paper that was published uh, in Kudu Journal by Oban et al. in, in 2020. It is entitled Woody Cover Mapping in the Savan Ecosystem of the Kruger National Park using Sentinel-1 C-band time series data. So what is the objective of this tutorial? By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to estimate woody cover proportions in a savanna ecosystem. The study sites are located in South Africa and Kruger National Park, and we will be dealing with a subset of this area. What kind of methods will we use? So we will use a regression-based fitting of a random forest model. We're using a machine learning uh, approach here, and we will also utilize a, a spatial cross-validation approach, which is becoming more and more relevant uh, in the past years, as it was shown that this can actually give you a more realistic estimate of your bias. Moving on to the next slide, we can now see the study site that we are working in. So in the red color, you can see the Kruger National Park in South Africa on the border to Zimbabwe and Mozambique. So it's on the uh, most uh, northern east part of South Africa. And our study site is uh, located in the very south of the Kruger National Park. So you can see it uh, very small um, in the south. There's a Sentinel-1 subset. So this is the subset uh, in more in detail. So it actually crosses the border of the Kruger National Park. And this here um, is a Sentinel-1 VH backscatter image uh, from the year 2016. And you can see the the ranges of backscatter that we can observe here. So what kind of data will we be using in this tutorial? Firstly, we will use Sentinel-1 data. We will be using C-band data, so it's six centimeter wavelength. And we will be using the data in VH and VV polarization. Furthermore, you can see the years 2016 and 17. That implies that we are utilizing uh, multi-temporal data, so data from two entire years. And then also we have another data set that is being used. Uh, it is visualized here below. We are using a LiDAR data set. So it's a laser data set that was acquired by Milan et al. And they have acquired this data for three years, so for 2010, 12, and 14. And we will be using the data set from April and May 2014 to um, give a sort of validation to our estimation. Moving on to the next slide. So what are the objectives of this tutorial? On the right hand side, you can see a figure that stems from the uh, publication by Oban et al. from 2020. And there you can see an estimation of woody cover for the entire Kruger National Park. You can also see some subsets uh, indicating where the algorithm might work a little bit better than other places. But overall, you can see that it has a very good fit. So by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to understand the MLR workflow. So MLR is a machine learning uh, framework that is um, um, centered in R, and we will use it to estimate the woody cover. Then you will be learning about the factors that influence the woody cover derivation. And by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create a woody cover map yourself in R. We hope you will enjoy the next steps.